Hey everybody, it's Aaron. So I couldn't help but notice the other day and dive into this a bit more. I didn't want to get too far into this, but I did want to look into this a little bit. So this verse is repeated three times in, in the Song of Solomon's. And I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up, nor awake, my love, till it, it pleases. So till he pleases. The two numbers besides stir not up is 518 and 5782. 5872 seems to point to the year. And is it possible that 518 is pointing to the day? Well, I figured I'd look into H518. Now there's a thousand matches <laughs> in the Bible with 518. A lot of them are, is the word not or the word if or the word, um, well, let me show you. A lot of the words that connect with 518 is surely, until, uh, truly, certainly. And then if you, know, you flip back and forth between hard copy and electronic copy, there's a lot of words that hit 518 and surely sometimes the number is different so you know but i find it interesting that surely sometimes is 518 in the bible and so here we are approaching may 18th 2022 you know is it a lot to say that this is pointing to the day um connected with 17th day of the second month and by the way i I know everybody's got their opinion on the calendar and, and you know, when it starts, when it's are we in the true month, we're not in the true month. Oh, go watch this guy's video. Go watch that guy's video. Um, the way I see it, I think we are in the second month. But, um, hey, I we, we could be maybe in the first month. I, I do think there was something that was said. I can't remember where the study is, but where the um, every thousand or two thousand years, the sun shifts into different constellation. I know Flavius Josephus said that the sun's got to be in Aries. I was the one. I wasn't the one, but I talked about that last year. So I'm very aware of that, but there's also this other thing that states that uh, the sun sort of, <clears throat> sort of shifts every thousand or two thousand years into a different constellation. So we very well could be actually in the proper year right now, like everything's properly in place, and that means that we'd be in second Passover. Nonetheless, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not God. I don't know <laughs> all the answers, but uh, I think the calendar is likely correct. I'm not quite sure, though. We'll look into that, I suppose, but... Here we are, 518, could this be painting, pointing to May 18th, which is, in my opinion, the second month, 17th day. I told you in yesterday's video, second month, 17th day is uh, when the flood started, Genesis 711. I also said second month, 17th day is um, when Eve ate the apple, according to the Book of Jubilees. And so the other thing we have to note here is 217 in uh, Greek, Strong's Greek is salt. And so I find this interesting because um, Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt, uh, right? So, and it's always like, it's like the days of Lot, the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. So we have this 217 connection for Noah, and we have this 217 Strong's connection for Lot's wife. I think that's very interesting. This sort of lines up with Resurrection Day, if we're kind of mirroring the first Passover. If this is, in fact, the original Passover, then, okay, this is Resurrection Day. I mean, I, I don't know. So, um, very interesting. So, let's go into my study here with the 518 stuff. So, this is our most popular timing verse for this fig tree. And by the way, the fig tree, I need to clarify once again, I believe we have until June 25th, 2022 for the fig tree to make sense though, as we understand it. Uh, I minus seven prophetic years back from Israel's birthday in 2029, and I got to June 25th, 2022. So, for me... The fig tree still stands until June 25th. And at that point, I scratched my head quite a bit with, when it comes to that. Um, so that's where I'm at. I think we're, and that's also right around the, uh, the is it the, uh, the solstice? I think it's a solstice. I think it becomes summer around June 20th or so. I do think it's a spring rapture. I do think it's 2022. This is me speculating. Keep in mind, I've been speculating for two years and I've been batting zero. So, you know. Take everything with a grain of salt. It's a very humbling experience to keep on presenting dates, and they're always passing. Um, but I do think God delights in our search, even though we see through a glass dimly, right? First Corinthians 13, I believe that's where that verse is from. But anyway, 518. Psalm 90, verse 10. It's when our most popular, um, you know, connected to the fig tree. Psalm 90, verse 10. The days of our years are threescore and ten. And if, well, that word if is 518. By reason of strength you know, 70, 80 years, and then we'll all fly away. 
And then later on in Psalm 90, it talk it says the word may quite a bit too. So I don't know, guys, not sure, but <laughs> it's very interesting that 518 is in the, the most popular fig tree uh, verse that we connect with. And let's move on though. Genesis 18, 26, 28, and 30, when Abraham's having a conversation with God for, for Sodom, um, let me just do that. Yeah, that's better. For Sodom, he's like, uh, you know, hey, and if you see 50, will you stop it? Or if you see 45, will you not bring on this destruction? And if you see, f they're having this constant exchange, but put it in the word 518 in there. Okay, so then Song of Solomon, it's the, it's the verse that's repeated three times, and it keeps on saying, do not stir up. So do not 518 or 5782, nor 5782. So that's Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 7. Um, ye that ye stir not up nor awaken my love till he pleases, that ye stir not up, nor awaken your, my love till he pleases, ye, that ye stir not up, nor awaken uh, my love until he pleases. Kind of saying the day and the year, maybe, 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 maybe. Like I said, there's a thousand verses. I'm, I'm not sharing many, but I just wanted to just give you a little bit of a taste just in case it is. And if it's not, well, that's okay. Ezekiel 20, verse 3, as I live, saith the Lord, surely, there's your 518, with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm, he will, and with fury poured out, will I rule over you? Here's a few verses. I mean, I skipped so many things, but Psalm 23, verse 6, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, this surely in the app is not 518. It's a different number, but still, nonetheless, it's surely. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Psalm 91, verse 3, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the uh, noisome pestilence. For surely, 518, there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carry out our sorrows, yet we did not esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. I think this surely is pretty good. And like I said, it kind of can be translated into different languages, truly, or um, what was the other word that I have up here? Truly, certainly, uh, there were some connections to the word verily, and verily is said so many times in the New Testament, verily, verily, I say unto you, if you have faith, like, a, you know, this and that. Um, it's pretty neat. Ezekiel, there are so many Shirley's in there. I just picked one little paragraph here. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Shirley, 518, in the fire of my jealousy, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen and against... All, I don't know what this word is, Elduma, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains, which is 2022, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys. Thus saith the Lord God, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because he have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I have lifted up mine hand, surely. 518, the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye, O mountains of Israel, and then the, the story continues on. The most famous rapture verse of all time, not really the most famous rapture verse of all time, but a verse we love to go back to. Amos 3, verse 7, surely the Lord God will do nothing but, so there's another 518, he reveal us the secrets to the servants, his prophets, 518, it's kind of, uh, you know, I mean, hey, so this, now I think you understand at least now that why I, I couldn't not share this. I mean, that's kind of a big verse that we like to refer back to. We're kind of depending on God to show us, but this word 518 is in that verse, you know? So I don't know. Habakkuk 2 verse 3, another humongous verse we like to quote. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though is 518, Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely, surely come. Hmm. So the word surely is there, and the 518 over here. Now, well, let me just make sure I'm quoting this quite correct. Yeah, I just wanted to double check what it's doing there, because that was, okay, so though, yeah, it is 518, and surely is over here. They don't have the 518 beside surely, but it, it's kind of even more exciting, because surely has got its own number, surely come. But though it tarry, wait for it. So that's really neat. Okay. So, and then just a few New Testament verses, and that's about it. Um, so like I said, it can be translated to truly, truly, and certainly. And uh, so at the, at the cross, 
And by the way, Peter, when he was rejecting Christ, they said, wait, surely you were with them, weren't you? Surely you were. And Peter's like, no, no, surely I wasn't, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, and it came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many. So they said, when they saw Jesus die and everything happened, truly, this is another word for surely, this was the Son of God. Truly, this was the Son of God in Mark and Luke. Certainly, this was a righteous man. So, certainly, truly, and truly kind of match up with surely, which kind of connects with the 518. And then the last verse in the Bible, the last promise written in red, it's surely I come quickly. And in my hard copy, it says surely I am coming quickly. So, um, I don't know, 518 is something to just something to consider this sort of like lines up with resurrection day if we're kind of flipping around and mirroring passover is it first passover well if it's first passover then it's resurrection day if it's second passover well then it's 217 and it lines up with this noah story and the um the lot story with uh, um strong's greek 217 with lot's wife turning into a pillar of salt salt is 217 the hebrew 217 i think means flame let's go see real quick and it, Megan sent this to me today. So thank you, Megan. So a fire. So um, yeah, there you have it, folks. Eyes up. Uh, eventually this is going to happen. I certainly think it's spring 2022. If it's not, it's, it's going to start to not make much sense. Um, but my, my big confusion time of the year would be like late fall 2022. I mean, that would be like, oh, what is going on? So uh, yeah, keep on looking up and uh, see you in the clouds. Go Jesus, go. Go Jesus, go.